I have a confession to make. Uh, and here's the confession. This is my fifth time coming back to Ireland as, a, as part of the ITLG delegation. And the confession has two parts. The first part is that I, as a, uh, someone who lives in Silicon Valley, have always vastly underestimated how difficult it is to be an entrepreneur in Ireland. So I give all of you entrepreneurs out there lots and lots of credit for all the work that you've done. And the second confession, the second part of the confession I have is that in some of these earlier events, um, I have been known, and some of the, my colleagues will attest to this, I have been known as the bad guy on the panel. I have been known as the guy when asked how many Irish investments would I make, my answer has sometimes been none. So uh, I want to correct that, that perception. I want to get out of the, the doghouse as the bad guy. And in fact, um, I've been known actually as the guy uh, the asshole word has been used more than once. And I saw that on the cover of the Irish Times the other day, referring to Lance Armstrong, so I think it's okay to use that here. I want to make up for, for that by giving you an idea for an investment, talking about entrepreneurship, and giving the Irish some advice. So here is my idea about innovation. I'm going to give all of you entrepreneurs an idea that is worthy of investment. Because companies don't start out of trying to cure cancer or trying to solve the, the, uh, the alternative energy deal. Companies start because usually an entrepreneur is, is aggravated because he or she cannot get something or do something or allow something to happen. So my first, the, the thing I want to talk to you about is electricity. Electricity has been around for a long time, but here is the idea. <clears throat> Why can we not get electric outlets in airports? <laughs> Why do we see grown men and women crawling around on their hands and knees in major airports wearing business suits trying to find outlets? It's my kingdom for an outlet. So my first contribution to get out of the penalty box here is to give you an idea because innovation happens where you are, when you are, because of something that often aggravates you. My next shift is going to be about, <clears throat> about the investment process. There's, within this room, within the investment community, within the entrepreneurial community, there is a concept, an idea, that investments happen when you raise 200000 from your friends and family, you get some traction, you go to Silicon Valley, you get that $4 million investment, and the world is, is perfect after that. Investments are more like running around in the bushes and the brambles. There is not a, a, a distinct, unique process. It happens everywhere. It might be happening right now outside as someone is getting coffee. It could happen later today over a beer with any one of my panelists. So I want, to, I want you to understand that the investment process is not something that you can look to a book and say, here is how it happens. In fact, I want to tell you a story because I've made investments in, uh, in games, in software, in hardware. I've been an investor in Silicon Valley for years. And the most successful investment I have ever made was rejected by my partners at a major capital, major venture capital firm. It's a chip company. And it is now to date my most successful investment. And here is the chip company. 
It's a company that has used ovens, new technology in ovens, to treat potatoes as if it's popcorn. And that, it's a company that started three years ago and is now doing $200 million annually in the U.S. So I want, to, I want you to perish the idea that investment starts with a PowerPoint presentation and ends on Sand Hill Road in Silicon Valley. It doesn't. It's a messy process that's everywhere. And third, I want to talk about the Irish. And this might be, uh, I might get into some trouble here, but I am going to tell you what I've observed in my comments and in, my, in, in all of my visits here. <clears throat> And these are requests for all of you. The first is, and I've heard it several times even over the last couple of days, we need to, in Ireland to understand, have a better understanding of equity. Equity is not currency. Equity is not 10,000 options that you give someone. Equity is about ownership. Equity is about dragging your body across burning coals as the owner to make something successful. The second thing I want to talk about, and Frank Ryan from Enterprise Ireland talked about this this morning, the Irish are known for telling a story. And in fact, we are. But the Irish are also known for telling a long rambling story. <laughs> the Irish are often known for not getting to the point. And I want the Irish to understand that investing and innovation is all about telling a story, but the story is short and direct. And I want the Irish to get over the failure thing. Entrepreneurship is all about failure. Investors love people who have failed before because you've learned so much. So there is no black marks, there is no disgrace in being a failure. So please get over this failure thing, and I bet our panelists are going to talk about that in a second. And lastly, Frank Ryan talked about this this morning also. He compared Ireland and, and Israelis. When, the, when an Irish entrepreneur comes into Silicon Valley, he will often, or she, will often say, I'm sorry to take up so much of your time. I'm sorry, usually, that I'm late. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I would like to, I hope that you invest 300,000 in my, in my enterprise. When an Israeli entrepreneur shows up, he or she will say, I would like you to invest $3 million or I'll kill you. <laughs> and we, I want people in Ireland to stop saying you're sorry. You're sorry about the weather. Every day, it rains every day, we know that. Stop saying you're sorry about the weather. You're sorry about the flight being delayed that you can't control. You're sorry. So please, I want you to stop saying you're sorry. <laughs>